Have you ever thought Google could be more than just a search engine? What if I told you it's a powerful tool that can dig up hidden information if you know how to use it? Today, we're diving into Google Dorking, a technique that unlocks advanced search queries and can expose some serious security flaws. Whether you're curious about cybersecurity, an ethical hacker, or just someone looking to up your Google game, stick around because this will blow your mind. Hello YouTube, welcome to another episode of My Day My Money Tech. Today, we'll be getting into Google Darking, also known as Google Hacking. We're not actually hacking Google. We're utilizing advanced search features within Google to basically search for stuff hidden on the public internet, right? So these are operators that you probably didn't realize were available to be used. And that's why I mentioned at the beginning, um, you may have been using Google your, wrong your entire life or just not taking full advantage of the capabilities it has to offer, right? So um, with that being said, uh, just a quick reminder for those who don't know, October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month. So just a, another great way to be aware of the tools available on the internet and how hackers utilize these tools. This is a great month if you don't know already that to just kind of level up your awareness and knowledge in terms of cyber things of cybersecurity related. So with that being said, we'll get right into this video um, and kind of break down what Google dorking is. All right, so I thought we'd start off this whole video about what what is Google dorking? Just to ask Google first. So what is, is Google dorking? All right, so Google, and I think this is their new AI integration. I think, it, is it Gemini? So many names, I don't know. Pretty sure it's Gemini. So here, let's look it up. What is Google's AI call? So these are just like the basic, uh, yeah, Google Gemini. These are like the basic Google searches you do in the past, right? And we're all familiar with that. Like, let's see. Uh, percentage, percentage of users that search. I just want to bring up some statistics first. Um, yeah, so I remember reading somewhere, 92% of the global search markets um, utilizes Google, right? So let's see, what are some other stats? These are just some stats before we get into actually what Google Dorking is. Um, just give you a background and a realization of how often folks utilize the Google search bar, right? So you can see here, they receive about 8.5 billion searches per day and then uh, 99,000 search queries every second. So think about that. That's every day that folks just go on to Google and search something up, right? Now, oh, it's interesting. So Bing is Google's nearest competitor with about 2.9% of the market share with the Yahoo, Yahoo accounts 1.1%. So Google still has a large footprint um, within the industry, right? But I don't know, I feel like folks are going more towards ChatGPT, so it makes sense why they have Gemini as a option. Here you can see Gen AI is experimental, but I think it's just to keep up with that because the, obviously AI is the next wave. So in order to keep up with that, Google's already integrating it into their Google search bar. So as you can see, you'll have your normal Google search and then the AI pops up and then you have your normal Google search. Um, so yeah, just wanted to bring that up, but again, going back to our main focus for today, what is Google search? Gemini says Google dorking, also known as Google hacking is a technique that uses advanced search operators to find information on the internet that is not easily accessible through standards, search, through standard search queries. Um, it's legal to use Google dorking, but accessing files found through a search may not be legal. So just realize. If you're utilizing this for illegal purposes, you will get caught or you will be punished or there will be consequences, right? Um, but today is just for learning purposes. Utilize some of the search advanced search operators that I use on a daily basis. So I'm going to give you guys a little look at that. And then before even getting into that, I'll show you guys some uh, ways that I've used Google Dark in the past. All right. So let's talk about uh, some basic. Well, let me show you guys a cheat sheet. There's cheat sheets for these Google dorks. Google dorking commands cheat. 
so yeah there's github repositories on this um we're going to be using so this one's one that i usually go back to just because it's the first one that pops up usually so probably because uh how many stars it's received but yeah the one that i use frequently let's just start out with some common ones right so one that i know i use often especially in college is file types right so file type is a advanced search operator which once you enter your search query plus this file type it'll only search provide those documents basically that have the file extension that you provide it with right so for instance um let's just look up math let's do a regular uh, search query right uh math because i usually would use it for um looking up and seeing if there's like a free uh pdf version of my textbooks in college so it's a little uh advice for those who are in college um what you can do is if you have the isbn number you can basically um type in the isbn number and then the um file type and see if there's a pdf so let's see essential math for ai again a lot of times it won't be the case but let's see uh, central math and spell for ai and then we'll do file type all right so see you can see here these only bring us pdf versions of the book right so we shouldn't see any other type of file extension other than PDFs. And that's how you kind of narrow down on your specific search query, right? So let's see here, this first option. Okay. Again, this might not be, and you gotta be careful too, cause some of the things you're searching for might not be actually free. So just verify your sources when you're going through and checking these things. Yeah. So here's like, this might, and this isn't the whole book, it's only four pages. So, but it just goes to show you can get bits and pieces. The best is when you like land a, a, a full book that's free, right? Um, all right, the next advanced search operator we're gonna use is the uh, site operator. So this site operator filters out the Google search queries so that it only looks for a specific site, right? So let's see, what if I wanted to look up um, exploits in um android devices right and then what i'll do is i'll do this and then i'll put the i'll enter in the uh name of the website right so this one looks to github so this will only filter for github um repositories right so as you can see there's no other website popping up here just nothing but Android um, or repositories from GitHub, right? So let's see, here's a repository that contains um, Android exploits. So again, just another way to tailor it down. And then let's see what folks are saying on like reddit.com. Say we just wanna see what folks are saying about exploits on Android devices on like Reddit posts. Oh, gotta prove that I'm not the robots. Boom, boom, boom. That's the test. All right, so yeah, so you can see here, this is like forum talk about um, what's occurring on uh, Android devices. So just gives you insight and then again, just tailoring our, our search queries, right? All right, the next search operator, basic search operator is the in title. So say we wanna look for all the web pages that contain um, a certain topic in their head title, right? so let's see what's another what's a popular one we can look up um casino breaches um in title mgm All right. let's see what it brought up yeah see casino giant mgm so it's looking for things with mgm 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 right here um again just trying to tailor my my searches so i only see things related to the mgm um casino hack that occurred last year right if you don't know now you know <laughs> mgm got hacked so 
that one i believe that one was a um, social they were able to extract uh, accounts here let's see pretty sure it's from uh, information that they received from uh, workers linkedin something about linkedin from what i believe but again i gotta double check the the info on that one everyone can fact check me in the comments <laughs> seems like the big thing um let's see all right and then another one for um like hackers um is the in url so like if you want to tailor it so that you only bring up web pages that have this certain word in their url um that you'd use the in url search or advanced search operator right so here's an example so like login page and then we'll do in url we'll do admin so we only want like the admin uh, and again with these search queries you are going to get checked uh with captures to make sure you're not like uh, a robot trying to crawl the internet for like hidden things so um again doesn't seem like well i guess you can sign in google um i wonder what this is because this is admin admin.google i think it just goes if you have like an admin account for something something and i'm custom login page okay so like here's an example if you were to create a wordpress site that had a adam uh custom admin site right um and then someone like you shouldn't be able to access or even if you are able to access it someone shouldn't be able to just gain easy access by having like default credentials um so yeah let's see wordpress login and then i'm gonna do in url let's see what that brings up interesting let's see jetpack no yeah so that just brings that up so again those are a few of the common commands but you can also chain them together so like for instance let's do fiscal report or reporting um let's do the site let's do chase i think it might be chase.com let's just try chase.com if we get an error we can always change it and then do file type pdf let's do that all right nice so that bring up chase's stuff and then as you can see so we only have chase oh i guess we have some workday stuff with the or sponsored ones and then the file type the only pdf so and the interesting thing i bring up like a bank a large major bank um is the idea is that hackers will try to utilize whatever public information there is available to like big companies right all right and then lastly the last place i wanted to go to to show you some tips on google dorking was the google dorking exploit database um within this database you can see a list of um, basically google dorks that hackers come on here and most of them are gonna provide these google dorks to show you like the um ways that public information can be exploited right so like you said files containing juicy info what's this files containing uh usernames um i think the first one that jumped off the back was this one so site was github.com and they're looking for anything that says starts with begin open sh private key so um the private keys used in order to access um, ssh ssh is a service that you can use to remote into different computers so again let's see let's see what that brings up when we open it up let's see i guess i can do this button copy button let's go back here let's go right here we'll just do that crazy so like again begin obviously this doesn't look like it's the full private key but just the fact that like a portion of it is being shown here on this github repository right we wouldn't want that if you're a company and you have github repositories you wouldn't want information like this to be on the public internet um again they're just exposing information this is how information gets leaks 
gets leaked and then obviously that opens up the attack surface for hackers to get into your system so um this website's a good website if you're learning google dorks to go and try um see how folks are chaining these um advanced operators together again look at, you can see the very simple site um in url this one's we didn't use but i believe it's just extensions uh is the nix extension um in title all of these are basic google dorks that we used um here again this is their chaining so i believe this bar here signifies just like encoding it's a, uh, the or operator so um if it has this in it or this so if any of these yield true it'll find something related to this search uh query right here utilizing these advanced search operators let's just see what else is on here yeah another one encryption.txt like let's see let's just open it up and see what it gives us back right let's go here and then enter that oh wait no Yeah. So it's just crazy. Look, this is Apple. Again, I don't know how sensitive this file is, but just the fact that some of this stuff is on the public internet facing internet just goes to show the vulnerabilities that are capable if you don't uh, securely control the data that's being put online, right? So um hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give you, you a little bit of insight to Google Darking, especially uh, as we start cybersecurity awareness month again if you have any questions throw them in the comments if you have any feedback throw them in the comments but again appreciate you guys joining the channel um again don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell do all that stuff on youtube but again appreciate all the support so far and uh, until next time go off out